this point, I'll uh, come full circle and ask that the lights be turned down so that we can see the Albert David Kaiser medal on the screen. Is that better? The Albert David Kaiser Medal is given annually for distinguished service in the fields of medicine, public health, or community welfare. Dr. Kaiser was the first recipient to receive this award, which was established by the Rochester Academy of Medicine in 1939, was an outstanding pediatrician and city health officer. At this point, I'm going to call the names of the living recipients of the Albert David Kaiser Medal and ask each one to stand, if present, as their name is called. Robert McCormick, Alvin Urlees, Ruth Lawrence, Seymour Schwartz, Robert Joint, And you heard the marvelous sense of humor among the neurologists. Uh, there's the, the source of that humor, I'm sure. T. Franklin Williams. James Stewart. Maura Shapiro, <coughs> Jules Cohn, John States, Charles Sherman, Elizabeth McInerney, William Hall, McAllister Everts, Warren Glazer, Bill Morgan, John Condemi. The 2010 Albert David Kaiser Medal is awarded to our extraordinary colleague, Dr. Bradford Burke. to invite Dr. Taubman, 10th Dean of the University of Rochester School of Medicine, to escort Dr. Burke to the podium. Brad Burke has been my colleague and friend since we met at the Brigham Women's Hospital in Boston almost 30 years ago. Brad is a brilliant scientist, an accomplished physician, and above all, a visionary leader. As the CEO and Senior Vice President for Health Sciences, Brad embodies all the best attributes of the University of Rochester Medical Center. Brad sees the big picture and understands the multiple important roles that our academic medical center plays in the long-term health and well-being of the University of Rochester, the City of Rochester, Western New York, and the nation. He has the passion and fierce determination to guide the University of Rochester Medical Center through the challenging times ahead. However, Brad is far more than just a big picture leader. His compassion and concern for the individual has made him a superb mentor and a trusted advisor for many at the Medical Center myself included. Brad's tenacity and commitment to excellence has been truly inspirational to all. Brad is a hometown boy, a graduate of Brighton High School. He left Brighton to attend Amherst College where he received degrees in both biology and history, but then returned home to the University of Rochester where he
he was granted both an MD and PhD. He left Rochester once again to do his medical residency and cardiology fellowship at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. Following completion of his fellowship, he remained at the Brigham and at Harvard Medical School as a faculty member, where he focused on developing his skills in basic cardiovascular research. There he began a series of studies designed at understanding the basic molecular signals that are induced in blood vessel cells when exposed to disturbed flow, oxidative stress, and pro-inflammatory hormones. These studies have formed the basis of a long-standing research program that has unraveled dozens of molecular pathways involved in hypertension and atherosclerosis and in the response of the vessel wall to injury. While at the Brigham, Brad was also involved in a landmark study published in Science showing that circulating growth factors could regulate blood vessel tone. He also published a seminal paper showing that C-reactive protein was elevated in patients with acute coronary disease. This formed the basis of subsequent studies that have demonstrated the utility of C-reactive protein as a marker for coronary artery disease and for evaluating the effect of treatments designed at reducing coronary inflammation, such as those used in statins. After the Brigham, Brand joined the faculty of Emory University and continued his groundbreaking studies into understanding the cellular mechanisms involved in hypertension and atherosclerosis. While there, he collaborated with the chair of mechanical engineering at the Georgia Institute of Technology to develop devices to study the effect of blood flow on cells that line the blood vessels. Brad and his family moved to Seattle in 1994, where he began, was recruited by the University of Washington as the John Locke Professor of Medicine and Director of Cardiovascular Research. He continued his studies into signal transduction in blood vessels and the molecular events that determine the blood vessel's ability to adapt to changes in blood flow. When the University of Rochester was seeking a renowned physician scientist in 1998 to serve as Chief of Cardiology and Director for the Center for Cardiovascular Science, the search committee recruited Brad. A year later, he was appointed chair of medicine, a post he held until his appointment as CEO and senior vice president in 2006. During this period, he has added a new dimension to his research, using state-of-the-art genomic approaches to unraveling the genes that regulate how blood vessels respond to stresses. As CEO, he has led the development of an ambitious five-year strategic plan for guiding URMC's future as a well-established leader in education, research, patient care, and community service. All of Rochester was touched by Brad's injury last year and heartened by his remarkable recovery. He has used this unexpected turn in his life to become even closer to his family. His wife, Mary, who is also a great friend for 30 years, his son, David, his daughter, Sarah, his daughter, Mariah, her husband, Anthony, and their three wonderful grandchildren. He has also recommitted himself to patient-centered care. Brad Burke is truly URMC's best representative of medicine of the highest order. It is my pleasure to work with him every day, and tonight a special pleasure to present the Albert David Kaiser Medal to him on behalf of the Rochester Academy of Medicine.